Hey, what is up, guys? My name is Daniel, and today I am here with a $450 gaming PC build. I haven't done one of these in a while. Usually, I just do $500, but uh, I did find a particularly good value with this, so, you know, no point in spending 50 extra bucks if it just gets you worse value. Um, although, I probably will have another $500 gaming PC build coming up relatively soon. I think I did one a couple days ago. No, that was a home theater PC build. Anyway, I'll have, you know... $500 gaming PC builds coming up sometime. Um, so yeah, let's get right into this. For the CPU, I want the Intel Pentium G3258 3.2 gigahertz dual core processor. This is $69.99. Um, yeah, I'll get back to that in a minute. But for the CPU cooler, I want the Cooler Master Hyper 212 Evo sleeve bearing CPU cooler. Uh, right now, this has a $7 mail-in rebate, which actually I didn't realize it had, um, making it $22.99, which for this cooler is just insane. Because... It used to be $30, then it went down to $25, and now it's $23. So, you know, that's that's a fair amount of money saved, and really, right now, this is probably the best value in a CPU cooler that you can find. Uh, plus, with the CPU cooler, we'll be able to overclock our CPU to, I'd say, 4, 4.6 gigahertz. Honestly, I think you can hit, like, 4.4, 4.6 pretty easy with this setup uh, from the 3.2 gigahertz that's at stock. Plus, it's a dual core, so it doesn't give off very much heat. It doesn't have hyper-threading. So, yeah, it should be pretty easy to overclock this. Um, you don't have to, but if you're not going to overclock it, I would recommend not getting this cooler and just going with the stock cooler, since the stock cooler on this CPU is pretty good anyway, and it'll keep it cool enough, and you could save some money. Or if you do want to just fork out the extra money and get the cooler anyway for just, I don't know, CPU longevity or whatever, go for it. So, yeah, for the motherboard, I'm with the Gigabyte GA b 85 m dv 2 Micro ATX LGA 1150 motherboard. Right now, this has a $10 mail-in rebate, making it $55. Um, it's a good motherboard. It's Micro ATX, so we can get a smaller case, which is always nice. Uh, I really don't like going with ATX cases, especially in, uh, you know, lower-priced rigs, just because, eh, a lot, of, a lot of the cheaper motherboards in basically every category are Micro ATX, so in, you know, budget-ish builds, like $600 to $400, you'll end up probably going with the Micro ATX motherboard and chassis, so, you know, whatever. For the memory, I want the G-Skill Ripjaws X-Series 8GB, which is two sticks of 4GB, DDR3, 1600MHz memory. Right now, this is $83.99. I know that sounds like a lot uh, for RAM, but the reason I did it is because there is a combo discount, uh, meaning that it's $11 off. So that's actually a pretty good price. Uh, so yeah, for the storage, only the Western Digital Caviar Blue 1TB, 7200 RPM internal hard drive. This has a $5 mail-in rebate, making it $55. Um, again, for the longest time, this has really been the best value uh, hard drive. There are Seagate hard drives that are cheaper than this per terabyte, but um, they generally don't last as long as, and they give out and they're a little bit slower than these. So, you know, you could probably get a 2 terabyte Seagate for the same price as this. And if you really do need that extra storage, then sure, go for the Seagate. But I do like Western Digital Drives just because, you know, they usually last longer and a little bit faster. But yeah, for the video card, I'm with the XFX Radeon R7 260X 2GB Core Edition video card. Uh, the reason I went with this is because it has tons of different discounts. It has uh, $30 worth of mail-in rebates. And a ten dollar off promo code, which you know is is a lot of money saved. That's forty, not forty dollars. Um, thirty, forty five, right there. Look at my math. I'm I'm great at math. But yeah, you know that's forty five dollars saved, and that's a heck of a lot of money for a graphics card that's usually a hundred thirty. So yeah, it's actually a hundred five dollars for a two gigabyte R seven two sixty X. That's that's insane, right there. Um. So, yeah, moving on to the case, I'm with the Cooler Master N200 Micro ATX Mid-Tower case. This is $50. I do like this case a lot. It's, honestly, there's a couple of cases in this price range that are Micro ATX that look pretty nice. You know, like the uh, Fractal Core 1000 and the, what am I thinking of? There's one other one that I can't think of the name of right now. But I do like this case more than the Core 1000 just because it looks slightly nicer. And it's only 50 bucks. You can go with the uh, Rosewill FBM-01 or, oh, what is it? That Silverstone case. That's what it is. Uh, there's some Silverstone case that's usually like 40, 50 bucks as well. 
but I don't think it looks nearly as nice, and the build quality is not there either. So, you know, in, in that range of budget micro ATX cases, this is probably my favorite, honestly. So yeah, for the power supply on the Corsair Builder Series CX500, 500 watt, 80 plus bronze certified ATX power supply. Right now, this has a $20 mail-in rebate, making it $30. Um, in this build, we're only using 267 watts. So with this power supply, you do have room to overclock your CPU and or GPU. Um, you can even boost your RAM to 1866 megahertz if that's the way you want to go with it. Uh, enable XMP profiles and whatnot. So, yeah, not much more I could say. Like this video if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new here. I post content every other day. Thanks for watching, and peace. Fuck hoes, that's gang, nigga. Run hoes, that's gang, nigga. Don't show no love towards them slut hoes, that's gang, nigga. See niggas, hey, dog, your slut chose, cause you lame, nigga. Pimp a bitch, yeah, I pimp a bitch, and that's front row, and that's game, nigga.